him sister if you see it and come front me me not back down you understand me and him sister me come from the back of field and me not have no fear so him send for me and him give me three months of experience and that was the greatest time of my life now when me I take plane like taxi now when me have three thousand girl now when me have the most money I tear up on a dash now when the world. whole place big motorcade at uh, Jamaica has cry for me when I am in the arms of the Almighty God for the three months named Brother Desmond, that was the only time I felt like the world is free. You understand me? So, I know what I have God work for do. And I know me I got to eat. You understand me? Yeah. And that's why I have to give my country a sense of direction. Because I me alone have God work for do. Jamaica itself have God work for do. You understand me? Because Jamaica, whether you believe it or not, are one of the powerfulest little nations in the world. Nobody is powerful, you know. but the only thing you need to do get a grip, look into yourself, get discipline and focus. Because anything you want to do, other people in the world follow you. Just like you say, Ninja Man, if you say one house a gun, the youth then want one house a gun. The same way, if you kill off one another, if you back bite one another, and if you go on with be a corruption, I see how you make the world corrupted. Because Jamaica people, the world idolize you. Know, out of every Caribbean country in the world. You know, my tourists come here for a year, and they kill one of fire shot, they not up. You know better kill them, they not up. So if you know, say I love them, love them, and then run the student life, it take play and come down here, if you enjoy you know, beautiful sunshine, and there is something down here that is not anywhere else in the world. Jamaica people, all up on the head. I think that's a perfect, perfect um, statement, speech, what, you know, whatever you want to term it, um, for us as a nation celebrating 50 years of independence and some national pride. Ninja, well said. You know what I mean? As a Jamaican, I, you know, I hear you. I would, I, that, that resonates real nicely in, in, in my head. Like, really and truly, as a Jamaican, we shouldn't be really this, this, this crabbing about our mentality, this, 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 you know, backstabbing. I think you know, one of the biggest diseases, you know, people say out there is actually bad mind. You know what I'm saying? You know, bad mind are really in a Jamaica people, you know. Mm. Jamaica people just take up a bad habit of one thing when you hype. You you know, I would not talk about your picture entertainment. Yeah, mm. not entertainment alone. Mm. I cover the whole entire country. As a man make a headway in life, he feel like he's better than the man where he just did on this with. Mm. Or if a man get figure out foreign and come back, very rare and come back and want to talk to you. You understand? If you come back in farm a crew and him and him friend them stay together and if you talk too tough, you get licking at your face because that them are the man because them come down from foreign and them have this and that. Well, right now, if you even get a big job now, them are hype and them are a big job. Everybody are fight for position and this and that. But Mali tell you, say, oh, what a rat race. Jamaica people should not make that reach them. You know, if you listen to the artists, them, every artist will come here, in a every song, have a message, and he tell you some things we are going to go on. You understand me? In the music, then tell you about rat race now. Bob Marley call up on them, you know. Mm -hmm. And you hear when he say, Oh, what a rat race. Who for name my first name him call? Remind me. Him say Gargan. Okay. the first name him call. That means, say, see, in this music business, it's a bag of rat. But you know who they are front? Mm -hmm. Ninja man they are front, and the whole of them won't catch him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, me have the pan of cheese. You know? pan of cheese? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You are here. You, 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 you're here with us, right? And you're creating music. There's a song that you, yourself and um, Kipridge did together. That is, you know, have the whole dance hall in a state. You, you just mentioned about video. So I know, I don't know. I'm going, oh, Kipridge can get yeah, you. Man, you the video, you're a part of the song. No. But it, we come back all right now on the street, you know. Mm -hmm. And we did out here now, here where we are planned, man. Here we said, no, we come a road. In. Here we wanted me and General B. We said, no, we come a road. Right. Me have to turn a new chapter. Mm -hmm. Three years, me there at jail and me carried it kind of fracture. Mm -hmm. You understand me? And this year, me want me to play in an helicopter. You understand me? Mm -hmm. So right now, there's a lot of things that we never do before where I got done now. You understand me? Because me have three tune in a row now to go video. They wanted me and General B. They wanted me and Kiprich. And one of me have with me alone. You understand? You're just a 
I mean, no, a year, a year words from out of your mouth, right? You just say, you want to get some videos. Three videos. I'm going to be the three tune, man. Hype TV, you hear that, right? Some viewers really going to look forward to that because guess what, Gargan? Who has you upon some video? No, I know that thing. The reason why I tell you the truth, them, you know, the girl, them say me ugly and it turn up. They don't want to see me ugly in front of the TV. They want it in the bedroom, you know, because I'm cute in the bed, but I'm ugly out of the road, you know. So I'm going to do one camera out the thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we have those three videos to follow. We're looking forward to those videos. While you're here, you're recording and doing other music too as well, I'd imagine. Yeah, man, we not stop work, man. Cause from come out of recording and the dub studio them are run at. You understand me? It's all about making money and putting back things where it's supposed to be. You understand me? Yeah, man. Alright, so we're looking forward to all of that. Now, any advice to the artists out there? The, 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 the young artists who still having it difficult to get the break. You know, from you started out in the business as a young All artist. Alright, and I got to advice to the artists them alone. Because right now, more than one thing we have to get to. We want to get to now, we want to get to um, even some of the, 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 the disc jackets them. Mm. The dance hall, disc jacket, and the radio disc jacket them. We are begging them, please, just start playing the tune them. Because the whole patron did them one ninja man tune and bunty killer tune and beanie man tune and cable tune and, tune and sizzler tune and some young youth out there where them voice need to be heard. You know if you make them hear them voice. Because you see when Barry G did there and Super Dan and them man there, Barry G used to say this song coming like going to be a number one. This sound like a number one. This one looks like a number one. And the last week when I tell you say, it's going to be a number one. And we used to have a new artist time. When we say, all right, that's 15 minutes is new song segment. You understand me? We need to get back them things there in the music. Take out the partiality. Journalists and this jacket not supposed to um, have no favoritism artists. You're supposed to, you're supposed to, you're supposed to just play the songs them where you get. And when a song good, you play the song. Don't try to pick side and say, Ninja Man are your DJ, and Shaban are your DJ, Bontikil are your DJ, and Beanie Man are your DJ. You know you will play Vibes Cartel, but you will not play Bambado. No, you is not a disc jockey. You is an exploiter. You are blighted reggae music. You are choose for your own side, and you are alone in this. And you are not big on music. You understand me? And people like you know, destroy music and tear down music, and it's, that's why music come to a stage where Jamaican artists cannot get them Grammy on stage because music deteriorate that we, they come like say we don't recognize. We not take them out for pull we even out of the Grammy thing. You understand me? Because where Bob Marley dead left, him supposed to turn in and grey about fifteen times because him that shame because music gone to nothing. Straight. Deep. DJs, radio DJs, sound systems operators, you know, all of, all of us you, you know, we, we have a job to do. And of course, as Ninja Man rightfully said, no favoritism. If it's music, play the music. I remember this. Music don't live on the body yard. Music come check you. You know what I mean? Sometimes it come check it, it check Sizzler. And next minute you see you go and check um, Keep It Up. You have and to next check. minute it, 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 it with, um, you know, and it goes on. And I on. want to tell you something. You might they are rain and feel like you have music. And then left go for your man way down the road where you don't expect. Look for DJ daddy. How old was DJ daddy when he become a superstar? I must be 75 or something like that. Mm. And him still get to take plane and go far in as an old man with all and teeth them drop out. Mm. You understand me? So you don't know where reggae music can come from, where it can attack you from. Everyone is a star. As long as you are a Jamaican, you is a star. And music should be honor and respect and look up to. You understand? Because me terms reggae music as my second mother. That brought me from crime and violence and made me become one of Jamaica important asset that people can look up on me at days and times and say, Ninja Man, you're an icon. Yeah. You understand me? If I never music might be you didn't hear no existence of Ninja Man, but that died from about the age of 21, 22. Oh. Well, give thanks that you're here with us, and of course, give thanks that you are one of the pioneers for dancehall. Give thanks that you are a person that people look forward to on a stage trip. I'm on seeing Ninja Man name on a billboard. I'm on no saying, no matter if another artist fail or another artist won't live up to expectation, people know them can't lose half a Ninja Man for the stage. Why me not ramping up? Because some fest then call me and talk to me. If they ever book me for some fest, dog, they're not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I got a mother dog there. They're not ramping me. Hey, you hear my talk? 
Be, this day, yo, me not my son. Any show me walk out pan right now, me not have no peace, boy. Yeah. So anybody will come perform after me, prepare for what good. Come here, a cheer, you know, see me. A full moon madness, tears from the creep and tears from the dark side. Freddy Cougar out here, Jason out here. The whole idea of them out here, full moon madness. Oh. Go on, I give thanks to you for all in. I give thanks to you for coming here to talk to us and talk to all your fans across the world watching IPTV right now. It's always a joy, always a pleasure. Only a reason with you. Bless the world, man. Yeah. All but hot and bad, you see, boy. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, folks, that's it for us right now. Only the reason with Ninja Man, but stay with us. We have so much more to come your way. Black Ur is in the house, of course. And we're going to be talking to Tommy Lee tonight, too, as well, folks. So there's so much more to come your way tonight, folks. Believe you me. Don't you dare touch that dial. Soon come back. Fire.